What is up legends? My name is Luke and after 20 years I decided to get back into my childhood hobby of collecting Pokemon cards and I've really been having a blast with it. But one thing that I decided recently is I need to have some goals for my collecting. And uh, what I also realized is that I really just still love the old cards. I love the original 150 Pokemon and I love you know the base set, jungle, and fossil especially. So what I decided to do is I'm going to make a goal to complete all three of these sets. So I was browsing Facebook Marketplace recently and I found a listing from a guy who is local and he was selling um, several sleeves um, that it contained these uh, sets, cards from these sets. And so we met up downtown. His name's Logan. He's a really nice guy. In fact, if you haven't already seen the video, you can check out the video where we went and picked up these cards in the card up there. So I've got these in a binder right here, and uh, yeah, I'm super excited that I was able to pick these up. And now I wanted to mention kind of the way that I was thinking through the price for these, because it's a little bit difficult to know what to pay for these old vintage cards. So there's about 70 cards in here. I was able to see that from the listing, and then I, and that's not including the three holographic cards that came with this as well. So kind of the way that I had to think about this was, you know, I went on to TGC Player, which is a great resource if you don't know about it already, and um, I basically was able to look up the list um, from the base set and see kind of what an average uh, cost was for a common and uncommon card. Because of course, you know, it would be a pain to just go through every single card and list it out and try and figure out how much all of this is worth. So I tried to take an average of that. I found out that probably the majority of the commons and uncommons were around 60 cents. That takes into account that some were as low as 30 cents and some were upwards of $1.50. And so again, that's not including the um, holographic cards, which, you know, th for these three that are in this, uh, I found them to be around $10 each. So basically, I use that as a calculation. So if we do uh, 70 cards, times 60 cents that gives us 42 and then plus 30 to account for the three holographic cards in there we get 72 so that was kind of the number I had in mind I didn't want to overpay and pay more than that um, fortunately I was able to talk him down from 100 to 65 so that was super generous of him to be willing to come down that much and um, I was happy with that because it kind of left a little bit of margin for error because I didn't really know what condition all these cards were in just from looking at the uh, pictures on Facebook Marketplace. I thought that what we would do is uh, I'm going to take all of these cards out of the binder and uh, just kind of like we do with our opening videos, just kind of uncover them one at a time, take a look at the condition of each of them, and... Uh, yeah, I'm super excited to take a look at these with you, and I think I'll also show you a little bit about how I'm going to be organizing these now that I am collecting uh, Base Set, Fossil, and Jungle. So let's jump into this. All right, guys, as you can see, we got all the cards out from the binder. It's a nice, thick stack right here. And we're just going to turn them over one by one, see what we got, and you know, maybe check on some of the conditions of several of them. All right, so first we've got base set Vulpix. Eevee from Jungle. And by the way, you can tell by this icon right here if you're not familiar. Let's make a few different piles. So this will be our base set right here. Jungle. Ooh, Wigglytuff, very cool. Non-hollow Wigglytuff. Of course, we'll still have to collect the hollow version. Stick that there. Of course, we definitely have this one already, but we'll just stick that actually off to the side for now. Electabuzz. Now, it, the crazy thing is I thought I had this one, but it turns out I only had the um, Black Star Primo one that I think I got from Pokemon the first movie. Um, they look very similar, so I'm glad that I have this one. All right, stick that in. That pile, Charmander, we've got several of those actually. Abra, I thought I had this one already, but I think I only had the base set two version. Quickly take a look at the back there. A lot of these cards are similar as far as the condition. I would say lightly played for the majority of them. OK, 
Okay, that pile, Magmar. We do have that one, Star You. Star Me, I don't think we have that one, so that's awesome. Haunter, again, this is one that I thought I had, but it, I, it turns out I only have the uh, base set two. And what we're really searching for is the main base set one. And we'll certainly take any base set twos that we have, but um, for this collection, I really want to stick to those. All right, oops, drowsy, cool. Ivysaur, I know I didn't have this one. That's really pretty. A few scuffs up here, unfortunately. Take a look at the back real quick. Yeah, yeah, not the best condition. Not bent, so that's good. Stick it there, Dodo, nice. Bulbasaur, take a look at this one. Yeah, not bad. Just lightly played. Just a little bit of whitening. Great centering, honestly. Cool. Squirtle, squirtle. Very cool. And this is one that I thought that I had as well. Um, before I saw, you know, my binder that my mom gave me back recently. This must be one that my brother maybe had in his set, but I don't think I ever had. So, super glad about that one. Oh, that one looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit of whitening right there, but centering looks good. Cool. Ghastly. Let's go through these a little bit faster. Magnemite. Rhyhorn from Jungle goes there. Sand True. Nidoran. Machop. We definitely had that one. Oddish. Hard to hold a big pack like this, honestly. Okay, Goldeen from Jungle. We might have that one already. I can't remember actually. Bell Sprout. Mankey. Nidoran. Meowth. I know we have this one, but I can't remember if it is first edition or not. I think it is, but either way. Execute, Persian, Jungle, another Meowth, Cubone, Onyx, I know we don't have that one, that one is really cool, let's take a look at that one real quick, alright, yeah, looks great to me, I think the front looks pretty good, centering looks pretty great honestly. Okay, make sure these piles are not getting mixed up. Rapidash. That's really cool. Yeah, a little bit of whitening there, but definitely didn't have that one, so super glad about that. Paris. Grimer from Fossil, first for the Fossil pile here. Golbat from Fossil. Venonat. Horsey. Hero. Beckons. You guys are afraid of snakes? How do you feel about that? So, oh nice magneton. That's very cool. I'm pretty sure there's a hollow version of this one that we'll need to get eventually, but it's pretty cool. A little bit of whitening on top, but Overall not bad. Centering is a little bottom heavy. Okay, that's a fossil. Jigglypuff. Got the song notes back there. That's cool. Very nice. Gloom. Kind of a old school computer generated Gloom there. Put that in the jungle pile. Tentacool. Very nice. Oh, first edition tentacool. Epic. 
in the fossil pile. Let's look at the back really fast. Yeah, this one's a little more heavily played. Not too bad, though. Fortunately, none of these are really that bent, or bent at all, really. Parasect. Another Grimer. Ghastly. Okay, so there is a Ghastly in both base set and also fossil. Interesting. I didn't have this one. Sand Slash. Amastar. Awesome. Gold Duck, yes. Geodude. Looking awesome. Weezing. Very cool. I don't think I've ever seen this Weezing before, actually. Yeah, not the best centering, but not too much whitening. Cool. Coughing. For Team Rocket, actually. So we got a separate pile for that. We're not um, focused on the Team Rocket or the Gym Trainer series, but I do love those. In fact, actually, I think the Team Rocket one is probably my favorite set of all time. But uh, yeah, let's. I think we're just going to focus on these first three sets just so we can kind of stay focused. Kabuto. From Fossil. Another Ekans. So this one's a Team Rocket Ekans. Cloister. Very nice. Yeah, very awesome. Almost perfect. Krabby. And I know that there's a special Krabby that has a really interesting uh, fossil symbol here, but this is not it. But always something to look out for. Krabby goes here. Blaine's Growlithe, nice. I think we actually have this one, but I love this card. This is an amazing card. I wouldn't mind holding on to several copies of this, and you never know, this might be a better condition than the one that I have. I'll have to look later. All right, Squirtle, base set two. Very cool, so this will not go in our uh, base set collection, but it'll go in our main binder. Slowpoke, Oddish, Team Rocket, uh, Slowbro, very nice, love a good Slowbro, let's check the back, yeah, it looks great, a little bit of winding on the top right, but everything else looks awesome, alright, Kadabra, I think I actually have this exact one, I think I have the base set to one of this already, actually. Oops. Cedra. I don't have that one, so awesome. Eevee, Team Rocket. Oh, I love a good Eevee. That is awesome. I like that one a lot. Let's check the back. Cool. Psyduck. Okay, Fossil. Base it to Star U. Zubat, Kingler, very cool. On the night, and Shelter. And so it's the last one in this pile, but we actually have just three more. I saved the uh, the rares for last. Let's go check those out right here. Got them already kind of sleeved up to keep them in as best condition as I can. Oop. Drop the mega size Pikachu back here. By the way, if anybody wants to enter the giveaway once we hit 100 subscribers, I'll be giving this away. All you gotta do is subscribe, like this video, and comment below. And uh, if you like and comment on any of the other videos leading up to that giveaway, then you'll enter yourself in even more times. All right, let's turn these over. First we have Pinsir. Look at that. It's a very cool card. Unfortunately, the condition is not the best. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell in the video, but there is a bend somewhere and quite a bit of whitening.
but I think if this were a card or a Pokemon that I really loved, I would definitely want to find a better condition version of it. But I don't really care as much about Pinsir as I'd use some other Pokemon, but I'm definitely glad I have this to add to the collection. Next we have Entei. So that was a cool one to throw in here. This is a Black Star promo. I believe this came with a, a movie ticket at one point. Again, unfortunately not in the best condition. You might be able to see that there is a, um, a bend in there, but it's really a pretty card. I don't know, maybe someday I may have to get a better condition card of this because I really like it a lot. Of course, it doesn't contribute to our base set collection because this is a Generation 2 Pokemon, but we are okay with Generation 2. I do like that generation as well. All right, and for our last one here, we have Pidgeot. And this one I like a lot. Very shiny. Still not the best condition, but I would say better than the other two hollows that we just saw. Yeah, you can see there's a little bit of a bend up there. It's unfortunate. But still a super pretty card and nice enough for me to stick it in a top loader like I did. All right. So now that we have all these in the different piles, I just want to show you real quick how I'm going to be organizing these. I recently picked up this Volt X binder. We had got a, another one like this, but this one actually zips up, so it's going to kind of take care of these cards a lot better. So give me just a second to reorganize everything. I'm going to open up this binder here. So we can fit in the camera. Because these cards are actually numbered, we're going to kind of keep them in that order. I think that that's the best way to go uh, for these since we're actually trying to complete the set. For my other binder, I really like to actually keep them in uh, along with their types, like the fire and water and everything, as well as with their, each of their evolutions. But with this, I think uh, it makes sense to go by the number that you can see down here. And that's so that we can kind of keep track of what we still need to collect. And so this is going to help us a lot. These are all the actual base set one cards. And we'll also include the... Uh, the uh, fossil and jungle in this binder as well but for today's purposes let's just uh, stick a few of these in this uh, this binder right here so we've got Abra and the number is 43 all right so what we'll do got to find the right page for that 9 18 27 so this is 36 here, got 40, 39. So these are the ones that I already had. So you have Porygon, Radicate. I think we're gonna stick all these two in sleeves as well to keep this whole set nice. So we can see that this one is 40. So 40, 41, 42, and 43. And that's how we'll do that. Do the same real quick with like the buzz, the number is 20. Okay, 20 out of 102. So there's 102 in this base set altogether. I really like Elect the Buzz a lot. 20, go back a little bit. So let's see if we can figure this out a little bit faster. Okay, we got 21 here. So Elect the Buzz goes right next to Electrode. I'll be honest, it does kind of bug me a little bit that they didn't number them in the order, at least, of their evolutions. Because, you know, if we were going in order, we've got Electrode here, and Voltorb should just go right here. But that's not the way they chose to do it, I guess, and that's totally fine. So anyway, what we'll do later is basically just go through each of these and add them to their correct spot in this binder. And we'll do the same thing with... Uh, fossil and jungle there's enough for all three of these sets in this binder so yeah that's what we got 
Awesome. Well, thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, Logan, if you're watching, thanks again so much for these cards. I'm really enjoying them. Um, and I'm curious to know, for any of you who are watching, what are some of your goals in your collecting? Um, are, have you collected the whole base set yet? Um, is that something that you are trying to do as well? Just let me know by commenting below. Also, subscribe so you don't miss any more Pokemon card opening videos in the future. And uh, the videos on screen now are a great place for you to start, so you should check those out. Thanks so much, and I'll catch you next time.